we operate about a thousand acres row crop. Uh, we own about half of that. And uh, we are uh, a no-till farming situation um, using auto steer and swath control and uh, yield mapping. Conservation, one way we look at it is the no-till not only saves us in equipment costs, diesel cost, and helps us plant earlier and harvest earlier, but it also, by not disturbing the soil, decreases soil erosion. And therefore, uh, all the organic matter that is left on top of this ground protects the soil, and then the organic matter decays over time, creating a, a layer of tilth on top that uh, eventually does improve the productivity of the land while conserving the soil. Then you can also look at conservation as being economical for the fact that when we apply these nutrients to these fields for the crop, we want it to stay here for the crop and not be washed away. So we get more uh, efficiency out of every dollar we spend by being conservation minded. And essentially, if it can't pay its way, we can't do it. So everything has to go back to economics. And when we look at it, conservation and economics do work hand in hand. I want to do everything I can while I'm here to have a long-term plan so I don't make any missteps along the way. We want to uh, know what the next step is, what can we do to improve the soil, and we want to keep any of the improvements on the farm itself rather than washing down the creek.